Alright, well welcome back to Spear Fighting 102. I hope you enjoyed our first video. Uh, Solzar and I are going to be showing you a couple more things today. We're going to start off with the two main attack styles. Uh, the first one we're going to show you is what I'd call the jackhammer. Uh, the second one would be more of a single shot style. So to start off with this uh, jackhammer style, it's basically just like what it sounds like. You're going to be throwing shots really fast and you're going to just con continue... Talk about it? Just to make sure it gets in. Uh, you're going to continue to throw shots, even if there's no openings, you're going to throw a lot of shots. And the idea is, you want to slow down the enemy's shield line, you want to intimidate the enemies, and you're going to pop shots open for other spearmen, and other shield fighters, and other archers. This isn't necessarily the best way to get the most amount of kills for yourself, but other fighters really like to see this style at Ragnarok because it's aggressive, and it's going to open up shots for them. So, um, I mean, this is going to work with overhand or underhand doesn't really matter. Um, so uh, we'll start this off and I'm just going to show you how, what it looks like. And so the idea here is just to keep it going and you're going to keep him completely occupied. And you can see where this takes pretty much all of his attention onto me. And so one of the bonuses of this is when you're working with other spear fighters, um, I, I can be doing this and then I can pop his corner right down here and it's going to open up that side of his shield and then another spear can come in through the side and hit him. So it's real effective with two spears. It's not going to get you the most amount of kills though when you're by yourself. But it is intimidating and it does work well. The other style, I would call it a single shot style. It's where you're waiting for an enemy to make uh, the same mistake over and over and over and you're going to be watching for it. And then you're going to throw a real quick, well-timed shot and hit a spot that he opens up. So when you do this, you want to keep your spear about a foot from the enemy that you're trying to hit. Because if, if I'm too close, he can kind of move my spear around with the shield and then I'm going to miss a shot. So you want to stay back here a little bit and then Solzar swings some bad shot and I'm going to come in and I'm going to hit him. And so you kind of have to keep an eye on like the two or three shield men that are close to you and you have to watch the mistakes they make. And if you're fast enough, you don't have to you know, keep hitting the same mistake, but if you're good enough and you can time it, the second they throw something, they're probably going to open themselves up and all you got to do is hit it. Um, I think fighters at Ragnarok don't like to see this as much because it looks like you're not doing anything but you can't just sit there every single day for five hours. It's like five, six days a week doing this at Ragnarok. You're not going to make it through the week. So and you're not going to get any kills. No, and you're going to hurt really bad. <laughs> but uh, so you, you kind of have to mix the two styles, and there's times where one's going to work better than the other. But um, if you mix the two, you're going to get a lot of kills, and your teammates are going to like you a lot better. Uh, one more thing to add about um, jackhammer style versus single shot. The shingle shot style, you're going to be able to stay in the line a lot better, and you're going to be more defended, and you're not going to get hit as, with airborne and melee as much. Whereas the jackhammer style, you can't watch the airborne, you can't watch all the shieldmen around you, and you're going to be a little more ahead of the line and out there, so you're going to get hit and killed more often. So that's another one of the downsides to that style. So we're going to quickly go over how to block a javelin with a spear. It's pretty straightforward, and we'll save you in battle. Yep. Save your life. Where am save I throwing? Your life. Okay. So your head. the main thing is you want to use an overhanded stance and try to fight with your slimmest profile forward, whatever, if you're fighting left or right side, it don't matter. But if, uh, the javelin's going to be coming from over here, so I'm going to be standing with the smallest amount of me pointing towards the javelin and overhanded. Ready? Yeah. And that's all it takes. And it's just a little knock and it'll just throw the javelin across here, pretending like maybe a shieldman's got his back open over here. And I'm going to try to block the javelin out of the air to stop it from hitting the shield fighter. Ready? Yeah. And it takes more of a slapping motion rather than just a deflection because you want to completely stop the javelin. So you kind of have to wait for it and rise up and then come back down on it. But they're both pretty simple and they really help the battle.